What's going on everybody? It's Warhawk and welcome to Nerf Talk and here we go. My very first not review, I'm gonna say opinion video, I guess, um, on one of the hypers, the Rush 40. So this little guy, I'm gonna say is probably, um, no, I'm just saying, uh, everyone's favorite hyper, other, you know, to actually use because it is probably the one closest to um, the Kronos, which is one of, well, in my opinion, one of the better rival blasters out there. So I think that's why maybe this one is so popular and probably um, for the price of it, so it's $40 here in Canada, um, for the price of it, you kind of, you're, you're paying, you're getting kind of what you pay for. So, um, so yeah, so the uh, Rush 40 comes with these hyper rounds and I know uh, if you're watching anything on hypers, you probably know that these are the hyper rounds, a lot smaller than rivals and they're really weird feeling, uh, squishy, kind of, I don't know, it's really weird. So the way you want to load this guy is right here. Okay, so that's how you load this, uh, the 40. It's kind of in the back, so all you gotta do, there's a little flip, and you just flip that up, and then you can put your round in. What's nice um, is there, it's kind of tilted forward. So, unless you have it like this, and you open that, okay, um, gravity is gonna take over, yes. And I'm sorry, but I don't think the universe is gonna change physics for a nerve blaster. So don't hold it like this when this is open. Okay, so once it's loaded in like that, the way you're gonna prime it, the prime's on the top right here. You just pull back, push forward, and you're ready to shoot. And I am gonna let one go just because, because, wow, that thing curved like that. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, because I, uh, why I shot that is because I wanna show the trigger. So the trigger on this is what I'm gonna say is the only thing I really am not a big fan of. And the reason for that is it sticks out pretty far. Like, it's it's sticking out pretty far there uh, compared to where my hand is. So, um, so that kind of forces me to hold it a little awkward. I like to hold my blasters kind of more, like really centered. So what's happening is, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see it but my finger isn't really going all the way over the trigger. Now the trigger pull itself is very, it's nice, I like it. Um, it's not the worst and obviously not the best, but it's not bad. So I do like the trigger on it for sure. So other than that, uh, the FPS on this, I'm not really too sure. I don't have a chronograph, but there are a lot of uh, reviews out there. So <laughs> if you want to know that, uh, you can go check them out because yeah, I, this is just kind of like I said, okay. Um, and all the hypers come with these. Uh, these are very important. If you're using this or actually any Nerf blasters, make sure you are wearing eye protection, okay? And these aren't bad. They they are pretty clear and they fit nicely. You know, they're not like those really tight ones or ones that are kind of pinching your hair. You know, those kind. So yeah, they're very nice. They work well. So, other than that, everybody, um, what I think about the color, it's okay. It's nice to see different colors on blasters. Would I have gone with this kind of gray with that yellow? No, I would have darkened that up just a little bit. So, other than that, um, I can't really say much more about it because a lot of people already have. So, I'm kind of thinking to myself, what can I do that's different from them? And I'm thinking, and I was thinking, and then I thought of it. You know what? You know what I can do? Look around you. You have over 400 blasters in this room. You know what you can do? Why don't you compare this to some of the other blasters that are already, you know, existing? Um, and maybe those uh, people watching have that blaster, and now they can kind of get an idea what this feels like other than the ammo and the... the how hard it shoots. So, very first blaster that came to mind when I was looking at this and, and using it, and obviously everybody probably thought of this too, was the rival roundheads. Um, these two blasters are very, very 
just like they are so close to being the same it's almost scary. Um, obviously this one's a little bit bigger because it does use rivals. This uses a little pipe around. But I mean look at this guy. Like look at how much closer do you want, right? Very, very close. So if you have a round house, the Rush 40 is very, very close to the round house. Um, the trigger is a little bit different on the 40 than the round house, but the Prime, I, I thought almost felt identical. Very, very close to each other. Anyway, now here's another blaster that the 40 kind of reminded me of. And uh, I don't know if a lot of people might have thought of this, but the only difference between this blaster and the one I'm going to show you is the actual kind of width and the size of this grip, because this is a, a, um, a hyper meant for the older nerfers, so they made this a little bit bigger. But when I show you this one, you're going to be like, okay. So everybody remember the shell strike? You guys remember this? So take a look at this. So take a look at this shape here. All right. Look at the shape there. See that? I'm going to try and hold that up. And then it was the guard too. So you take a look there. So I'll kind of try and line it up. I know I'm, I'm an amateur or whatever. <laughs> so very, very close. And then if you look at the grips there, almost the same kind of curve to it. And then the guard itself, right? This just a little bit bigger. Well, and it does have the tack rails. But they are like, it was the shape here on the back that got my attention right away because it's very close and then you kind of got the whole same back end there, right? So, so there you go. That's what I can do. I can compare because my, um, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but my selection is pretty high. So <laughs> I can, I can kind of look around and go, okay, yeah, that one's close. Yeah, that one's close. But anyway, those are the two that, um, really reminded me of, of the Rush 40. So am I going to re recommend going to get it? Uh, you know what, everybody on the Hypers, I have to say, I can't say yes or no. Because, um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know about these yet. I, I do have a lot of fun with them, but I'm still trying to, because uh, I'm not saying I don't like it, and I'm not saying I love it. Uh, so if you're gonna categorize it on a list and I got $40 in my pocket, is this gonna be number one? It's not gonna be number one just because it hasn't found its place yet. You know, like, hypers don't really have a home yet. I don't know if I'm making any sense. It, they're, they just don't really have something, you know, if, if you wanna uh, buy a couple of these and go out, you know, target shooting, for sure. Go ahead. It's definitely worth the money. Other than that, is it worth the money? I don't know. That That is, I guess, up to the person with that money. Um, so yeah. So anyways, so there we go. That is my opinion on the Rush 40. Uh, thank you once again, Joe, for uh, giving me the uh, Rush 40 and the entire set. So I am going to do a couple more videos on uh, the other two, my opinions on those. So once again, everybody, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and comment. Tell me what you think of this, because I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of mixed. I do like it, but I, you know, I'm not saying I'm gonna grab this first, you, you see? So thank you once again, everybody, and keep on there.